All right, let's go into our pro wrestling scorecards picks, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to quickly run these down. We've got about another hour to go. Um, you guys, check them out at PW Scorecards on Twitter. They just started season four, man. If you're looking at this, if you're watching this live on the video, you can see it's a brand new layout. It looks gorgeous the way they have this set up. It's wonderful. Uh, PW Scorecards on Twitter. I will, starting off, they don't have the SmackDown live tag match on here, but you can't use, because it is a scheduled match, you can't use any of those four competitors in the unscheduled appearances because it is technically scheduled, yeah. but they had these cards out already and they weren't able to change them up in time for this. Again, this is also their first card with the Season 4 format, so moving forward. They also have a new website, ProWrestlingScoreCards.com. You can go to that and get all these web, uh, cards as well. So at PW Scorecards on Twitter, ProWrestlingScoreCards.com. We wanted to have Daniel call into the show, but he's really sick right now, and we wish him the best sick of Sick of losing <laughs> all that goddamn <laughs> time. Like a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Feel better, bro. Wait, quick question, man. How, how did you guys get hooked up with Pro, pro Wrestling Scorecard? So it happened? it happened organically. <laughs> yes, it was. It was the best way to get over ever. Uh, we, it was organic, and we followed the plot plot holes and storylines. We worked with it. Mm. We didn't just switch it up every week. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to say it was about the. It was not fodder. Yeah. Oh, drink. <laughs> I, I, that on I have no more liquids. I need more liquids. I, Kyle? I, I can grab you one if you like. <laughs> I appreciate it, sir. If you could grab me one, too, that'd be great. I can do that. Um, um, I'm good. Actually, I'll take a high high quality H2O. H2. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! It really, it really sucks. sucks. No, no Kurt Sanders. Mama was right. <laughs> 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 Football um, is the devil. So about three months into our show, we were doing, uh, we had a fake, our little championship and everything like that. And uh, we were just doing it off of the guess, uh, guessing it. And then whoever got the most right got it. Well, after like three months of it, we realized we were all kind of getting the same ant number. And there was, so I was like, I saw these guys and I hit them up. I said, Hey man, uh, I really like what you're doing. Do you mind if I use these on our podcast? Obviously, we'll put you over. We'll mention it, so on and so forth. Right. And he said, yeah. He was just starting as well, actually. Really? Yeah. What's, what's really funny is our show started June of 2016. Their first one was WrestleMania 2016. So it's like literally they started two months Ooh, before. Second. No, I'm sorry. Money in the Bank. Money in the Bank 2016 was their first one. Wow. So, yeah. So, so, we, so yeah, we both started in June. basically at the same basically at the same fucking time, wow. and we didn't find them until three months into our show. And he said, "Yeah, go ahead." And we have used them ever since. And I honestly say, man, these things make any pay per view better. The shittiest WWE pay per view we were watching was better because we were fucking playing this. Yeah, it's like it's like fantasy football almost. Like if you have a team, you pay more attention to certain games that you wouldn't normally pay attention to. Right. Strictly because you're wondering what the point spread is. Yep. And it, I'll be I'll be honest with you, man. I, I really have not been watching wrestling lately and like I'm like, uh, do I really want to make picks? Cliff, yeah, I'm, I'm a big Cliff picks. <laughs> Cliff, be... Cliff notes. Yeah. Tell you need. This shit's been really hard to watch lately <laughs> in your defense. <laughs> <laughs> Look, dude, I watch it, but I just, that's why I'm glad that my shit's recorded. Because if I don't like the shit, I could just skip through until I see the shit I actually want to see. I, can, I used to do that before I started doing this show. Now I feel, like, obligated to watch it all. <laughs> yeah. But, God, it's just so fucking bad. So, the other thing is, what's really good is, Pro Wrestling Scorecards will have a booth at StarCast 2. Uh, really? Yep, they will be there. Uh, so if you're going out there, I w yeah, you're going out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be there, fucker. <laughs> About time you get the bill. Uh, <laughs> so you're so you're going out there. Uh, go see them. I might. I, I still can't say I'm not because I have that request often, and then that schedule for the Thursday came out, and I already have that Thursday off. So basically, if I make good money this weekend, I'm just gonna fucking go. Right. Okay. Cool. And uh, I hopefully. Wait, where do you work? Huh? Where do you work? Well, uh, Old Shillelagh, downtown Detroit. Everybody, go to Old <laughs> Shillelagh this weekend. I'm on the main bar all days, so I actually might make decent money. Don't buy drinks. Just tip Mikey. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> get one drink, tip me 20 bucks. Um, <laughs> five people on the bar, I'll get five of that. Four of that. Four of that. <laughs> <laughs> really, really bad at math right away. Um, 
So they're going to be at StarCast uh, with a booth. They're going to be have having selling their own special shirt for it. It's a red shirt uh, with a black brand new PWS logo. They're obviously doing a scorecard for Double or Nothing. Um, and they're going to be getting into more AEW, more Ring of Honor, more New Japan. So it's not just going to be WWE focused. What's crazy about that is I realized that I was talking with Daniel today, the founder, that they're changing like we're changing. Like like we're going to start incorporating more. Obviously, AEW is going to have a fucking weekly show. Right. We're definitely going to be talking about that. You know, I'll gladly be the representative for just the AEW. So. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, moving forward, the way they're expanding, we're expanding as well. And I, I just, I love that crew. They're really nice. We've had them on the show a myriad of times. Right. Um, honestly, man, you probably Big talked words, to too. I try like and get it. A, hey, hey, I got a vocabulary, sir. <laughs> I'm, I'm grammatically proud. Um, Daniel, if you're listening, for beating you so many times, I want a fucking T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing the old school one right now. This is their old logo. Well, I'll be there, so uh, I can bring the shirt back if you want, man. <laughs> I honestly appreciate I, that. Free shipping and handling. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> I'm going to have to give it a Yeah, I'll definitely go talk system. to those guys when I'm there, man. So awesome. <laughs> definitely. All right. So let's start this off. Money in the Bank, a uh, bunch of matches. Again, the SmackDown Tag Team Championship match is not on this card, but you cannot use Daniel Bryan, Rowan, or who the fuck are they? Who are they taking on? The Usos. Who are they going against? Is it the, is it the Usos? Yet? Are they really? It's the Usi hot. Wait, I thought the Usos were wrong. Never mind. Yeah, don't even uh, start. It's don't the start. wild card, yeah. sir. They can do whatever They're they the want. They're the wild Samoans. They can go anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Idiot. Uh, I don't even see it on. Oh, SmackDown Tag. Yeah, for the Usos. All right. Um, so you can't use the Usos or uh, Daniel Bryan or Eric Rowan for your extras. So the first match. Uh, obviously, I'm the current uh, ring crew champion, which means I'm going to invoke my clause of going last. Because I am the fuck you midget. Fuck you, midget stripper. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you can't say the M word. Sorry. Sorry, goddamn midget. Vertically challenged. Yeah, little person. You know, under 4'11 with the hands. Yep. <laughs> I almost bought Kyle there. <laughs> it's, against my, it's against my religion to spit out beer, so I, I, power through that. I was trying not to. He almost got me. <laughs> um, the running, the running gag is every time I say that, Nick just makes a small, Ooh. and so it's like because it's a little. <laughs> so I just I dubbed it a midget stripper. I don't know why. I just figured midget strippers would probably hate me if I, as a, as the ring crew champion. So it makes sense. I gotta thank for short women, man. So yeah. hey. All women are short if you stand up. On them. <laughs> I was about to Turns say, out you uh, can't considering spin her you're though. the tall one out of our show, I mean, that, doesn't that happen a lot? I mean, considering, you know, being six foot four has its perks, you know. <laughs> yes, it <laughs> does. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck both of you. <laughs> Sorry, Kyle, I couldn't see you. Can you do that again? <laughs> I'll make you see, all right. <laughs> all right, so the first match is Tony Nese versus Arya Davari for the Cruiserweight Championship. Uh, three extras in this, fall type, aerial moves, plus or minus one. Remember, and I have to find where this shit is now on the fucking scorecard. Yeah. Aerial moves are any offensive move attempted from elevated location and landing in a lower location will be counted. Notice, attempted. It does not have to connect for it to be considered an aerial move. And uh, plus or minus one for that. Match time in minutes, plus or minus one, bell to bell. If you hit the number dead on, you are getting an extra two points. I, of course, as the ring crew champion, will go last. So this one we're going to have Nick. So everyone is going to start first, and we're just going to work our way around it. So Nick's going to be going first. For this one, the next match, Z will be going first, then Joe, then Kyle, then Devin, and then back around. So, so All right. So, Nick, kick it off. Bam. Tony Nice. Uh, by pin, seven aerial moves in the match time of uh, 11 minutes. Ooh. All right. <clears throat> I have uh, Anthony Nice. Ah, uh, Antoine Nice. Antonio. <laughs> Is this like Drew and Mike from 10 years ago? Yeah, what? basically. Um, <laughs> by pinfall with six aerial moves and a 12-minute match time. All right. Joe? Uh, I got two. Uh, Tony Nice by pin, eight aerial maneuvers and 12 minutes. All right. Kyle? Uh, I got Nice by pin. Kyle. And Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> 
Do you get it? I'm going home. <laughs> Come on, Cat. No, that's not Kyle. That's Catman. Cat. I know that. But... Come on, Cat. <laughs> when you says my mom's a bitch, I will kick you in the dick. <laughs> Catman's <laughs> <laughs> bitch, the big fat bitch, the biggest <laughs> bitch in the whole wide world. Anyway, all the boys and girls. <laughs> Fuck you, guys. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go seven minutes match time. I'm going Tony Nice by pin, and I'm gonna go five year five plus aerial moves. F- five aerial moves. Yeah. All right. No, it's plus, so he gets the number. Number one. <laughs> My bad. I thought it was like. Number plus. I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do five. No, negative, it's like if you pick so under. Again, I'm right? on the under. It, if you, you pick bitch. five, if you pick five, <laughs> and uh, and it actually is four or six, you still get a point. Or yeah. <laughs> Using that brain. Who's got five points? Right, Devin. So. Never uh, thought. I've of. got. I feel it's like it's like got Tony Mees. I want to change. It's my like mind. ordering Thai food. He's like medium plus. Mild plus. <laughs> <laughs> How many peppers do you want? Where's my asshole? <laughs> you got it, sir. I have Crohn's disease that happens anyway. <laughs> no, I've got uh, Tony Mees by pin, four aerial moves, and 12 minutes. All right, I have Tony Mees by pin, seven aerial moves, and 11 minutes. For the match time. Up next, Roman Reigns versus the Drifter Elias, who got nothing but pops on Raw and SmackDown. They were cheering Walk with Elias like motherfucking crazy. He was on both? What? No, I'm sorry. Well, there's a wild card I'm, rule, I'm, sir. Yeah, this is I why know. you gotta pay attention. I know what it is, but it's still. Uh, never mind, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Three uh, extras on this fall type. Superman punch count plus or minus one. Will the guitar be used as a weapon anytime? Which means not just bell, bell to bell. Will it be used before or after the match has started? Does he have to hit him with it? Yes, that's called using it. But he can swing it at him and swing miss. Swing it and miss, and that's not using ah, okay. it. That's, yeah, that's not a weapon, then. Will not do anything. Uh, Z, you're starting this one off. Uh, I'm going to go with Samson. Samson! Uh, <laughs> on top of Samson! <laughs> 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 By pinfall with uh, four Superman punches, and yes, the guitar will be used. All right. Ho, ho, fucking Joe. <laughs> Holy Joe. Uh, I, uh, I got Roman Reigns winning here. Uh, pinfall, two Superman punches, Dose. and yes for the guitar. All right. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with Reigns by pin. Uh, I think there's going to be. I don't think there's going to be ari- any aerial moves really like that because neither one of them really does anything aerial. But uh, I'm going to go with the guitar. There's stuff. no aerial. Yeah, Superman. Oh, I'm sorry. Superman. I misread. I was reading the one below me. Yeah, I definitely think there's going <laughs> to come be, on, Kyle. There's going to be at least two Superman punches. Excuse so you're going me. Two. Uh, yeah, and I think that the guitar is definitely going to come into play. I want to change my answer. I just want to hear Samson. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk to Samson. <laughs> Samson <laughs> gets me lifted. So, so you're saying you have Roman? Yeah. Have over Roman. Samson? <laughs> <laughs> Roman over Samson. <laughs> That's who I'm calling. Dude, we got to get you to Doctor do a said drop I need for a back our show. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> we need that as a drop for our show. Uh, <laughs> I'm going with Roman. My pen. One Superman punch. And yes, the guitar will be used. The El Caballo. All right. Nick. Roman Reigns? Ah, Roman. Pin, two punches, and a fucking swing of the guitar. All right. Copy. Sounds like the length of the match, too. (laughs) Um, (laughs) I have uh, Roman Reigns by pinfall three for my Superman punch count. And yes, the guitar will be used as a weapon. Up next, The Miz versus Shane McMahon inside of a steel cage. Nowhere for Shane to run if you didn't hear Miz's promo on Monday Night Raw or SmackDown because it was the exact same fucking promo. Uh, Who's going to win? Pin submission or escape? How will that match end? Aerial moves, plus or minus one. Uh, Move from off the top of the cage? Of course, Shane's in the match. Um, And does anyone (laughs) else enter the cage? Yes or no? Joe, you're kicking this one off. All right, I got uh, Face Miz going over here since he lost at Mania. By pinfall, three aerial maneuvers. There will be a jump from the top of the cage by Shane, and no one else will enter the cage. Um, I've got the Miz by pin. I think there's going to be at least two aerial moves. I think somebody's going to jump off the cage, and I think somebody's going to get involved. All right, Devin. Uh, Miz by pin, two aerial moves, yes, a move off the top of the cage, 
is something high, so Shane's gonna jump off of it. And uh, yeah, I think Mr. Miz jumps in the ring. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I think Mr. Miz gets in the ring. All right, Nick. Uh, the Miz, he's gonna escape the cage. Uh, three aerial uh, moves. Yes to a move from the top, and no one will enter the cage. The Miz is a baby face now. That's escaping is not a baby face move. Well, I, I can see Shane and them, like Shane going to the top, Miz kind of climbing after him, stopping him from jumping off. And oh, no one's stopping Shane from jumping. <laughs> <laughs> He's jumping. Not naming Vince. I don't know. Wait, the match is over, right. and I'm up here. See? I'm jumping anyway. <laughs> um, I have Vince McMahon winning. He escapes the cage after Paul White. Inter- oh, wait. What, wrong, wrong oh, show. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> um, I have Shane winning by escaping the cage. Three aerial moves. Paul White. Uh, yes, there will be a move from the top of the cage, and it won't be Shane. It'll be The Miz. But, uh, and yes, somebody <clears throat> will enter the cage. Uh, I agree uh, with Miz being the winner. Uh, but I have by pinfall as well. Um, I actually have uh, six aerial moves. Uh, move from the top of the cage. Yes. And does anyone else enter? Yes. Up next, the women's money in the bank ladder match. Let's give you a rundown of the ladies in this match. Ember Moon, Mandy Rose, Dana Brooke, Alexa Bliss, Bailey, Natalia, Naomi, Carmella, and Nikki Cross. Just kidding, Nikki Cross is not in the match. But she should be after that fucking performance on Raw. Nicky. Wait, 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 wait. There was a Nikki Cross sign? And she fucking won the Fatal 4 match. And she was half, half-ass normal, too. Yeah. Huh? Um, so, first to touch the case, who will be the first hit with the ladder? Who will be the first to climb the ladder? Last to touch the case and not win. Will the ca- case be cashed in during the Money in the Bank pay-per-view? And will there be any outside interference in the match? Cal, you're kicking this one off, sir. <laughs> Damn you, motherfuckers, dude. I think. It's okay. Come on, tell me your fucking answer. Wrong <laughs> guy. God damn it, Cal, hurry up! Right, Kenny? <laughs> Kenny told you. <laughs> yeah, tell him, Kenny. <laughs> Carl, you must make your pee. And the chocolate and salty. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> What's I'm going to scissor you later, yes. Carl. <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you guys should God. come on the show every <laughs> <laughs> At least just Kyle so we can make fun of him. <laughs> All right, bitch, you play around enough. I'm going to start fire. I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> anyway. All right, let's go. Uh, I'm going with Bliss. I think Bliss is going to win. Um, just because the other names that are in there, I just I don't see it. Uh, I think the first to touch the case is going to be Bliss, and they're all going to throw her off the ladder. Uh, first hit with the ladder, Dana Brooke. Uh... Let's see. Last did not touch it and win. I'm going to go Dana again. And uh, I don't think no one's going to cash in at Money in the Bank. And outside interference, I don't think so. Okay. Devin. I'm going with Mandy. (laughs) Okay. Mandy. Brandy. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Mandy Rose. First to touch the case would be Carmella. First hit with the ladder would be Alexa Bliss. Uh, First to climb the ladder would be Mandy Rose again. Last touch the case and not win would be Brooke. Uh, cash in, yes. And outside interference, no. I think I want to change that, though. Well, go ahead. Switch it up. Yeah, I'm going to change that. All right. Yeah. I certainly would. Because, <laughs> uh, never mind. I can't think of his name. I'll, I'll figure it out. Go ahead. Ellsworth? What? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you think Ellsworth is showing his face? All no right. way, dude. He showed his wiener to a, mi- a, min- a minor. <gasps> Did he really? You didn't hear about that? No. Yeah, Are you serious? So I'm dead I t- fucking serious. I mean, I don't know if it's ever proved, but it's definitely a Somebody legend. Somebody accused him of it. Is I WWE know. trying to find him for he- this? <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't work for us no more, motherfucker, but we want to know. Supposedly he sent back. some uh, a dick p- some dick pics or whatever to an underage girl. So, yeah, let me cross that out. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you're going with no outside interference? Yeah, I'm going to stick with no outside interference. All right. Nick? 
Um, man, James Fellensworth. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well played, sir. Wow. <laughs> you win. <laughs> you win. <laughs> well, I'm going to take Mandy. Carmel is going to be the first to touch the case. First to get hit with the ladder is going to be Natty. First to climb the ladder is going to be Carmella. Uh, Dana is going to be the last person to touch it. And no to cashing in and yes to outside interference. All right. Z. I mean, this could really be taken out of context because I have Mandy. First to touch it is Alexa Bliss. The first to get hit with it <laughs> is Dana Brooke. First the first to climb it is Carmella. And the last one to touch it to not get the winning is Natalia. That nobody, will get, nobody, will, nobody will get off during this event. She's not, <laughs> she's not getting the money shot. And there will be outside interference. <laughs> Somebody's a cock block. <laughs> Joe. All right, I got Alexa Bliss winning this thing. Bailey will be the first to touch the case. <laughs> the case. The case. Uh, the first to get hit with the ladder is going to be uh, Natty. And then uh, Mandy will be the first to climb the ladder. Naomi, last to touch it and not win. <laughs> <laughs> it? <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> uh, the case will not be cashed in during the event and the, yes there will be outside interference um <clears throat> this is man this is a match that i think is one of the most difficult to pick uh there was even a huge switch for the men's uh money in the bank match which and thank god swapped, for that which which can't sw switch that up so i think but i think the women because you're trying to figure out who do they think is there is worth enough to push right and now I agree that Mandy is like your, yeah, of course they want to push Mandy, but I think that I, I want to push Mandy. I, <laughs> but push I real good. I think they're gonna go a different and way pull with it and push. And pull. I'm gonna pick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm picking Ember Moon to win because I think she has the best upside down the long in the long run for like it. anyone. Like it. Because they've I also see, pushed her with other a, things. She's got, a pretty, good, she got a pretty good backside too. Yeah. What? Do you, do you turn her heel at that point? Um. No. I. I, I don't. I think this is going to be. They had a heel win it last year. Face win it this year. You know. Fucking WWE. I mean, normally the Money in the Bank winner ends up being a heel at some point, except for, except for John Cena. Right. Yeah. Um. But I. I think that this is going to be. A, I mean, it's possible. You never know what's going to happen. I love my scenario of Dana Brooke winning it, like I told last week. Money but... in the brook. <laughs> Money in the brook. <laughs> uh, the first to touch the case, though, is going to be Bailey. Oh, I forgot she was in the match. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and so did the WWE Universe. <laughs> uh, the first hit with the ladder is going to be Naomi. Hmm. See, I, I was trying to go away from that. I felt like that was very racist. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Ember and Naomi. <laughs> now that's just blackout black. <laughs> right. right. Um, the first to climb the ladder is going to be Carmella. No, you know what? The first to climb the ladder is going to be uh, Mandy. And she's also going to be the last to touch my case because we're getting married. No, the ca case will not be cashed in during the event. And no, there will not be any outside interference. Up next is the Becky Lynch versus Charlotte Flair for the SmackDown Women's Championship match. Devin is kicking this one off. Three extras. Fall type, match time in minutes, submission finishers. How many will there be? Obviously, the uh, submission finishers um, doesn't have oh, the disarmor or the figure eight. So how many of those will be in? All right, Devin. I'm going with Becky two belts. She's going to win it by tap. Match will be 17 minutes, and there will be two submission finishers. All right. Nick. Um, yeah, Becky, two belts. Um, submission. I'm going to go 18 minutes and three submission finishers. Okay. Z? Uh, <clears throat> I have uh, Becky winning by uh, pinfall. 14-minute uh, match time with three submission finishers. All right, Joe. Uh, Becky, submission, 14 minutes, two finishers. All right, Kyle. I got Becky uh, by submission. I think it's going to be a 10-minute match, and I think there's going to be three submission finishers. Okay. 
I have Becky going over by pinfall, 16-minute match time, and two submission finishers. Up next is the second of the women's championship matches. Becky Lynch is in. Becky Lynch versus Lacey Evans for the Raw women's title. Mat title. Three extras, again, uh, fall type. How many near falls, plus or minus one? And will there be an Evans promo before the match, yes or no? Nick, you're kicking this one off. Well, I've got Becky two belts again. Um, submission for near falls, and there will be a promo. Z. <clears throat> Becky, submission, two near falls. Yes, there will be a promo. Joe? Uh, same thing as Nick over there. I've got Becky, submission, four near falls, and yes to the promo. Cal? I think we're going to get... So let me read my shit here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's usually how it goes. Uh, <laughs> you write God it damn it, Cal! God damn it, Cal! God damn it, Excuse me, sir. I got my shit mixed up for a second. <laughs> With whose? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I that thought was that was my shit. Holy Turns out, <laughs> not. It looked like it, but it was a different shit. Who had brown. peanuts today? <laughs> I don't remember eating corn. <laughs> that was We're at Becky man. Lynch, Lacey Evans, right? Yeah. Okay. I uh, I think Becky's winning this one. I think this one's going to be uh, by pin. I'm going to go with four near falls, and I think she's definitely cutting the promo before the match. All right, Devin. Becky, two belts, tap. Two near falls, and yes, there's a promo. All right. Uh, I also have Becky, two belts, but this one by submission. Three near falls, and yes, to the Lacey Evans promo before the match. Up next is the men's Money in the Bank ladder match, Money which, as bank. announced on Raw, switched up. Sami Zayn got the win over Braun Strowman in a Falls Count Anywhere match with the help of Baron Corbin and Drew McIntyre, taking Braun Strowman out of the Money in the Bank match. So now it is Andrade, Ricochet, Drew McIntyre, Finn Balor, Sami Zayn, Baron Corbin, Mustafa, fuck you, I'm calling him that, Ali, and Randy Keith Orton. There are six extras in this match. Who, again, similar to the women's. Who is going to be the first to touch it? Z? Who's going to be the first to hit it, Z? Who's going to be the first to climb it, Z? <laughs> Who's going to be the last to touch it but not get it off, Z? And then will the case be cashed in during the Money in the Bank event, and will there be outside interference? These answers yes coming or right no. now. <laughs> <laughs> Z, you're coming. leaving this off. Please let oh, me know. Coming. I have, I have uh, Samuel Zane oh. winning. <laughs> winning, my love. <laughs> Sammy. Uh, Want to talk to Sammy? Andrade will be the first to touch it. Oh. Randy will be the first to hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Figures. <laughs> Ali will climb it. Uh, Balor will be the last to touch it. Uh, no, the case will not be cashed in during the event. And yes, there will be interference. All right. Joe. All right. I'm, I'm doing this on the fly. Here. That's fine. Man. <laughs> that's fine, dog. I got... Uh... Randy Orton winning this thing because that's what I want to see the least. Randy Borton? Besides Baron Corbin, but he already won it. So uh, I'm going to say Sammy's going to be the first to touch case. First to uh, get hit with the ladder is going to be uh, Bosley Slorbin. <laughs> Bosley Corbin. First to <laughs> climb the ladder. Clearly, Bosley didn't work. Is, uh, it's is in process. It's going to be Ricochet. Mm hmm. Last to touch case and not win is going to be Finn Balor. Uh, case will not be cashed in during the event, and there will be outside interference. All right, Kyle. Cool. I've got Sami Zayn winning. Uh, I think the first to touch the case is going to be Ali. Uh, I think he's going to be the first one to get hit with the ladder. I think the first to climb the ladder is going to be Corbin, and they're all going to kick the shit out of him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> last to touch the case and not win I think it's going to be Corbin And then uh, I don't think nobody's cashing in the case And I hit no one Outside interference <clears throat> Alright Devin Alright I got Drew McIntyre winning it uh, The first to touch the case will be Finn Balor uh, First to get hit with the ladder will be Drew McIntyre First to climb will be Andrade uh, Last to touch it and not win Will be Rick Koshet. And uh, yeah. oh, Rick the, O'Shea. The Irishman, Rick, Rick O'Shea. O'Shea. The high flying Irishman, <laughs> Rick O'Shea. He's redefining aerial combat, you know. <laughs> um, would it be a cash in? No, and there will be outside interference. Nicholas. 
I've got Drew Mack also. Uh, first, Drew Mack. First to touch the case will be Mr. O'Shea. Uh, <laughs> first to be hit will be Baron. Or excuse me, sorry. Corbin. Baron Corbin. <laughs> no, Bosley Corbin. Bosley. First to she climb. did not work. <clears throat> yeah. Hair clip for men. Yep. First to climb will be Andrade. Uh, last to touch the case and not win will be Ali. Uh, no to the cash in, and I did have no to outside interference, but I'm changing that to yes. All right. Uh, I have Andrade winning this match. Ooh, I would, would love that. I would like that too. Dude. Yowie, wowie. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a feeling that the whole Braun Strowman stuff just took Drew McIntyre and Baron Corbin out of winning this match. Yep. So I, that's why I the Sami Zayn picks. Anyone else other than those two, I, I think, are smart picks. <clears throat> I picked Sami Zayn before he was even in this fucking match. <laughs> um, but I think Andrade is going to be uh, the best guy to be pushed in the long run. Uh, the first to touch the case, though, uh, I will have Ali with that. I do believe that the first person hit with the ladder is going to be Corbin. I also believe that the first to climb the ladder is, is the I, I was the first to climb the ladder, first to get two feet on the ladder, is going to be Ricochet. And I believe that <clears throat> the last to touch the case and not win is going to be RKO. No, the case will not be cashed in during the event. And yes, there will be outside interference. Uh, up next is the United States Championship match. Samoa Joe defending against Rey Mysterio and, you know, a, a WrestleMania rematch. Ch because it's, again, happening. Three entries. <laughs> fall type. Near falls, plus or minus one. And will there be any Dominic interference? Yes or no? Joe, no. kick it off. <clears throat> I got uh, Ray winning this thing. Pinfall. Seven near falls. And yes to the uh, Poppy's son interference. That's Eddie, right. Eddie, Eddie Guerrero. Poppy. He was his Poppy. Okay. I got Ray by pinfall. Uh, I think there's going to be five near falls. And I definitely think Dominic's going to be involved because I don't know about you guys, but I feel like this is all building to like he's eventually going to have a match, whether it's with Joe or somebody else that Ray feuds with, if it's not Ray. All right. <clears throat> um, Devin? I'm going to go with the Samoan one, Joseph, huh. uh, by tap. One near fall, and I'm saying no interference. All right. <clears throat> Nick? I've got Ray, uh, pinfall, five near falls, and yes to El Hijo. Uh, <laughs> Interference by Dominique. Z. Um, I have Mysterious Ray winning by uh, pinfall. <laughs> Who is he? <laughs> Who is he? <laughs> I can't tell under the mask. <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck is he? <laughs> that 619 move. It's yeah. so weird. Yeah. I like the 69 one time. <laughs> <laughs> it's not supposed to be a one. It's supposed to be a slash. He, he's from San Diego. That means a whale's vagina. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so if you guys get rid of Smitty, can I take his place as the black guy on the show? Uh, well, <laughs> I don't mind having a second black guy. We, more, we need more diversity. I mean, if we put you on the show with Smitty, you'd still be the only black guy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> Shots Get by <fired>. <laughs> Go ahead, Z. Sorry for cutting you off. Uh, um, Mysterious Ray, pinfall, four near falls, Dominic interference. All right. I have Samoa Joe retaining his title by submission, three near falls, and yes, there will be a Dominic interference as well. Up next is the WWE Championship match. Kofi Kingston with Xavier Woods versus Kevin Owens. Uh, fall type. Aerial moves, plus or minus one, and will there be a New Day interference? Yes or no? Uh, Kyle, you're kicking this one off. <clears throat> um, I think Kofi keeps the title. I still think, I just feel like they're going to build it to somebody winning, so I think it's uh, Kofi by pin. Uh, I would say there's at least three aerial moves, and uh, I definitely think there's New Day interference. I think Xavier gets involved somehow. This pay-per-view is not going to make enough money to pay gold. <laughs> The Saudi one is. Well, I was going to say Goldberg. <laughs> that one was first time yeah. ever corpse versus retiree. Uh, Devin. <sighs> can I just say six year old? Can, me I, can I just say if oh, Goldberg absolutely. wins the championship, I would probably stop watching like all together. Goldberg's not winning the title. He's going against Undertaker. I mean, just just it's like, not going to be the WWE. Like, who wins? Like, 
Uh, mm. Goldberg goes over. I mean, just down the line, if they decide, hey, let's put the title on Goldberg again, I, I'll probably stop watching. It's going to happen. Oh, I, Be prepared to stop. What, Joe what, said he was going to stop watching once Baron Corbin beat Kurt Angle. At WrestleMania? <laughs> hey, in all fairness, Joe was done. I, Joe in was all like, fairness, I haven't, eat, I haven't seen SmackDown in like three weeks. So. <laughs> He's halfway there. <laughs> like, I mean, and I'm like barely, barely watching. It's like 64. So I'm like right there, hours. dude. I mean, oh, man. I, I mean, and then, oh, never mind. That's <laughs> I was about to sidecast, but I stopped myself. <laughs> Atta boy. Um, I know, I'm, I'm learning after how many years now? Three! <laughs> <laughs> Finally learning. Three. Three years in like two weeks. <laughs> yeah. right. Devin, what are your picks, man? I'm going with uh, Seth Frickin' Rollins by Pin. Uh, well, we're, we're on Kofi Kingston and Kevin Owens. So how Se- Yeah, how's oh. Seth going to win that one? Oh, <laughs> my bad, my bad. You're, you'll kick off too the, much the podcast juice, motherfucker. You're cut off. Not enough. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Damn PCJ. <laughs> you win. I mean, he really is fitting that Smitty role, real nice. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying sure we'll take a spot, man. Uh, going with Kofi Kingston by pinfall, one aerial move, and yes, there will be new day interference. All right, uh, Nick. I've got Kofi um, pinfall. Five aerial moves and yes to New Day in her fucking appearance. All right. Z. I have coffee winning. Ah, yes. All black. <laughs> <laughs> so much caffeine. Not really where I was going with that. But. Black coffee, no sugar, no cream. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've seen his kids. He likes cream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's not the one the cream's going in. <laughs> True. That's more uh, like it's more like hazelnut. Like cream would be like never, never, never. <laughs> like French vanilla taste. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it'll go with that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, by pinfall, five aerial moves, no in- new day interference. All right, um, and then <clears throat> Joe. Uh, I've also got the cool Fick Kingston man ah, winning, yeah. winning by the pinfall down by the beach. <laughs> <laughs> right down by the beach. Uh, <laughs> Slapping the bass. <laughs> Slapping the bass. Five uh, aerial moves. Uh, yes, to uh, old, old Woodsy's going to get some payback on uh, KO fucking him up for the past few weeks. Nice. Um, I have Kofi by pin, three aerial moves. And. He, he, Wait, Kyle, did you go? He started it. He started it. Well, I started it. No, you're starting the okay. next one, bro. Okay. That's that's why I read Seth Rollins. Oh, see, and this yeah. is why our show is lacking. He doesn't even listen to the things. Wow, our just, show is you lacking. Can't bury people on really? The show, we'll we'll gladly trade Wait, Smitty for Devin. Wait, are we? Are we? Oh Eric snap! The show is fired. Is that what happened with Eric Grimes on another show? I'm talking. It's better than your show. This way, no one can know. Go for you by pin. There will be someone not Kyle. <laughs> well, you, well, if you're Eric Grievous, you don't talk to me anymore, Cal. What's... Yeah, Cal. <laughs> God damn it, Cal, speak to him. Hey, your friend. Do tell. Guys, <laughs> right, so we were just taking shots before the show. <laughs> that's, that's the only way I can get you out. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> he only talks to me with alcohol. <laughs> that's the only way I can well, get you out. you all for alcohol. <laughs> and then if you get drunk at 3 a.m., you go, are you up? <laughs> well, all right, boys. All right, how about uh, now? How about J-E-A-A-F. now? All right, Kofi Kingston by <laughs> pinfall, three for the aerial moves, and no to the new day interference. I do think Xavier Woods. I agree with you, Joe. He's going to get his comeuppance in there, but I don't think it's going to be during the match. Um, up next, uh, Seth Rollins versus AJ Styles for the Universal Championship. Four extras here: fall type, match in minutes plus or minus one, near falls plus or minus one, and how many finishers? And the finishers are. Because there's, there's definitely more than two. Curb Stomp, mm-hmm. the Phenomenal Forearm, the Styles Clash, or the Calf Crusher. Ooh. So all of those finishers are included in this. Devin, you're kicking it off. I've got Seth freaking Rouse, as I said before. Uh, by pinfall, the match time will be 22 minutes. Near falls will be three, and finishers will be three. All right. Uh, Nick. <clears throat> got Seth Rollins, pinfall, 24 minutes. Six near falls and two finishers. All right. <clears throat> I have uh, Tyler fucking black. <laughs> By pinfall. 33-minute match time. Seven near falls, three finishers. All right. Joe? <clears throat> yeah, I got Seth Rollins pin. 
24 minutes, seven near falls, four finishers. Kyle? I've got uh, the King Slayer or Beast Slayer or whatever the fuck he's going by these days. The Slayer. <laughs> uh, I got him by pin, 15-minute match. I think there's going to be at least five near falls and three finishers. He's the uh, architect of a building that he's going to burn down. <laughs> I mean, he's winning at life right now by bagging Isn't Becky that Lynch. literally uh, like the plot <clears throat> of Fight Club? Yeah. <laughs> um, I have Becky's girlfriend uh, by pinfall. <laughs> Becky's girlfriend. Uh, that was like they, she was like she was like let's get it together and he was like well can I be the boyfriend and she's like no I'm the man <laughs> I saw that that was great uh, as so. she's busy strapping it on <laughs> all right uh, <laughs> I'm just start calling him Peg oh, Rollins <laughs> <laughs> so, so that means that there's a possibility that three titles were just done. Good talk. <laughs> oh! Becky, two nuts. <laughs> oh, I'm sure there's been many, when many I get home, titles when they, over the when years. When I get home, they call me Becky three belts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on top, damn it. Uh, so uh, Seth by pinfall, 22-minute match time. Uh, near falls, I think, are going to be seven. And I believe the number of finishers that are executed is going to be four. All right, up next, unscheduled appearances. Ladies and gentlemen, let it be known, unscheduled appearances are as follows. You get five picks, three points each now. They're not worth five points anymore. They're not going to completely change the incredible tide of this ma thing. Uh, appearance must be live on the main card. No pre-show or pre-tape people will count. So basically, no pre-show. No pre so it only starts at 7. So if there's seven. a random match on the pre-show, none of those people count. Right. So 7, because it was, it, it was finding it way too hard to, there was way too many arguments about who was a, a pick and who wasn't. So from 7 p.m. to the end of the pay-per-view, when a pay-per-view starts, not the pre-show. So it's not just uh, like pre-tape. Vignettes, it's like pre show matches and everything. Yes, nothing before the pay per view. So starts. that's no pre show. Okay. Yeah, yeah okay. that's, that's enough. Makes thing. sense, and that's why they can release it every Wednesday, well, no matter what. I right? get what it because yeah. they do, they, they change, they add stuff like right up to the second the event's going on, you know, like, yeah, oh, there's a match starting. I didn't know this match is on the card, like, right? So it makes it uh, a lot easier for them. Ah, you know what? I do wonder though if that does change. Look at you. Way to go. Uh, <laughs> it, no, no, because there's still people who are scheduled on the card. Because I was like, wouldn't Daniel Bryan and Eric Rowan then possibly count? But nope, they're still scheduled on the card, even though it's a pre-show match. So, yes, uh, appearance must be live on the main card. No pre-show or pre-tapes. WWE.com card one hour before pre-show will act as the official scheduled list. Managers and valets listed on scorecard, authority figures, trainers, referees, and announcers are not eligible. I do have one question about that. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> if I were to pick Beth Phoenix, she's an announcer on NXT officially as of like today. Yeah. So N I, NXT can't, so I can't pick WWE. her at all. No, even can't. though if she showed up, it would kind of be like a guest appearance. And yeah, if she if she comes in, she's usually a guest. Announcer. What if she showed up in a wrestling capacity and interfered in a match? I mean, this she's is an a, announcer. No, this, she's an announcer. This is not NXT. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. This ain't an NXT. This is she's WWE. Still an announcer. All right. <laughs> even though she's wrestling on the live events, doesn't matter. She's an announcer. All right. I'll ask my question when it's my turn. No, you can ask. Does right. Biggie count? Because he's injured. Biggie would count. Yes. Yeah, sure. As long he's as not. Yeah, he's not expected to be there, so okay. it would yeah. be unscheduled. To right. um, again, so you pick five people. Uh, it could be anybody as long as it's not one of those. So uh, when it's, you know, authority figures, trainers, so you're, none of the – Steph, even though Shane's a wrestler, doesn't count if, you know, any other appearance. Stephanie, Triple H, Vince, none of them count. Basically, it's somebody with a spe specifically a wrestler capacity or somebody that you might think is in the crowd that – pertains to one of these matches as it stands the only person that doesn't count is xavier woods because he's the only person that is mentioned for it because it doesn't say kofi kingston with new day it says kofi kingston with xavier woods so yes biggie would count for right. this uh nick you're leading this off go with it brother mr mias mr mias <clears throat> the b team braun Strowman, and dominic all right z uh i have wait dominic doesn't count i mean yeah, he counts. He he's not he's not scheduled to come out with Ray, so he will count as an unscheduled appearance. I have Braun Strowman, 
Dominic, Zelina Vega, Nikki Cross, and The Miz's dad. And yes, Zelina Vega counts because she's not listed on this as a man. It's only people who aren't wow. listed as a manager. Okay. So that's a good that's a good call, Z. Uh, Joe, I'm not gonna write answers like Kyle is right now. I'm gonna leave it alone. Well, I didn't know. No, all the do rules. it, man. Yeah, oh, okay. switch, switch it up, bro. I was yeah, like, you I can switch it up as much as you want. Rules. Excuse me. I'm, I'm busy erasing something, stealing that Zelina. <laughs> How you spell See, That's why I grabbed the, the pencil. You can just write Vega. 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 You're mad at me for it, but Hashtag now you're doing Mexican it. hottie. All right. Oh, I'm sorry, Puerto Rican hottie. She's sexy as shit. Uh, Joe. All right, I got I got fucking uh, nerds, <laughs> and I got uh, I got Poppy's son. I got Zelina Vega now. Thanks for that, Z. I got Lars uh, racial slurvin, <laughs> and I got Nikki Cross because I think I think she's that's why I picked Alexa to win it. I think she's gonna help Alexa, and that's why I picked Yes to interference in that match. Nikki, 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 Nikki wants to play. But I'm normal now. Did you see her video with her and uh, Killian Dane on fucking Instagram? Jesus Christ. Mm -mm. She had the motherfucker all tied up and shit. <laughs> Whoa. Yes. I saw I that. I think I'm into it. <laughs> he said, I think I'm into it. Insta uh, Kyle, who you got? Oh, shit. I got uh, Bray, uh, Braun, Dominic, Zelina, and Mrs. Dad. All right. I've got Dominic, Zelina, Mr. Miz, Big E, Braun Strowman, and Bray Wyatt. Yeah, promos don't count, right? Eleven, so Eleven, Bray Eleven, wouldn't wish. technically yeah, count. Yeah, because if they just run a uh, new Firefly uh, thing. That, yeah, that, that would Bray not count. count. That's a pre-tape. Right? That yeah, that's a pre-tape pre yeah, thing. He would have to be... In, he would be, have, he to, have yeah, to, like, yeah, interfere in a yep. match or something, yeah. come out. Um, I have Dominic, Mr. Miz, Braun Strowman, Zelina Vega, and Lars Sullivan. Uh, announce table destruction is next. Z, you're going to be kicking this off. Uh, circle the table that you think is going to survive. Put an X over the table that you think will be destroyed. Oh. Z. Oh, shit, I did that wrong. English and Spanish are both gone with the other time. being saved. Okay. Joe? I have Same. I got English and Spanish both going. Other staying. <clears throat> All right, Kyle? Same. English and Spanish are both going. Same. All right. Damn, we've never had that before. Yeah, but it, it makes a lot the of sense. Spanglish, the, money in the, bank the Spanglish match, table is gone. Yeah, uh, yeah, because and yeah. there's a cage match and Shane's. There's Shane's. Yeah, it's very. There's, there's likely that all three of these fucking tables are gone. There's gonna yeah, be. Yeah, but yeah. normally it's like sometimes say, it's only I, two for the setup. So yeah. saving the other is normally a the, smart bet. The, the English German one. Like, as far yeah, as I think it's uh, middle is English, the Spanish is on the left, too. and then one course, of them is going to be going disguised, up. or one of them is going to be like a giant pillow disguised as a table for Shane to jump into. Jump into yeah, it. and the other two will get, you know, people slammed on them and not break. I'm going through all three. You got all English, three being destroyed. English, Spanish, yeah, me other. too. Kyle, you're switching it up. All right, Nick. I just got the Spanish being destroyed. The other two will survive. Oh. Ooh. Olay. Spanish, Spanish Big goes. balls over here, Jesus. <laughs> uh, I'm also taking just English and Spanish being destroyed, and other but is being Captain Big Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Big Dick, Nick. <laughs> that's, why, that's why he's got the power hand. Got Jeez, don't cue hand the music, Mikey. <laughs> don't cue the music, please. Big Dick, little hand. <laughs> <laughs> little hands you know, make the dick look you know, bigger. You know what that equates to? Huge dick. Huge. <laughs> huge fucking dick. Whopper Juniors look bigger too. 